supercharger on it. Let's see if it starts. It'll smooth out. Starts up pretty good. Um, the engine sounds good. It's got an exhaust leak right at the front of the manifold. But I'm wondering about the performance because it's it doesn't have very much acceleration. really really quickly I mean quickly in my opinion and then it will be really sluggish from 25 to about the top speed I've gotten it on the highway is 55 and it'll go 45 and just you know it'll be like 45 and then little tiny hills on the highway that you'd never feel in a truck um, they weight you down like a ton of bricks and um, I'd be slowing down to 45 on the little hills and hitting a top speed of 55. My RPMs, well, let me do that. I won't do it for very long. But if I floor it, this is floored. Looks like that triggered the blow plugs. So it has a governor hard, it has a governor that is set to 3000 RPM hard. On the highway, um, it would be around 2700 RPM, 24. It wouldn't ever get up to three. So I'm wondering if maybe turning up the fuel pump can give me that extra little boost of energy. I don't want to wear the engine out though. Um, do, do I need to turn up the fuel pump? Do I need to remove the governor? Is, if the engine isn't reaching 3000 RPM on the highway, then I'm guessing the governor isn't causing a problem on the highway because we haven't even hit the governor yet. Unless it's um, one of those governors that limits the amount of fuel rather than the actual speed of the engine, but that doesn't seem like it's the case since it's a pretty, pretty flat 3000 RPM governor. Anyway, if anyone has any idea how I can possibly squeeze a little bit more performance out of this thing please let me know um, haven't replaced any of the fuel filters yet I'm gonna do that do I need to replace the injectors as far as I know this bus sat for two to three years before I bought it so um, someone told me that these old Ford non-turbo 7.3 injectors will go out if without when they're not being used so if I need to buy a whole new set of injectors or um, the glow plugs. I think I might need a glow plug or a glow plug controller. Otherwise, it should start up pretty quick in the winter. Um, and like I said, it's a death match to get it started with propane space heaters pointed at the block and cranking for a half an hour. Not a half an hour continuously, but, you know, crank, charge, crank, charge. Anyway, please help me fix this wheelchair motorhome for my dad. <laughs>